These events become the best kept secrets in sports. Everybody knows what's happening, but when you're actually here and you've worked so hard to make something like this happen and you've been thinking for so long, how do we get back to Florida? You work with ownership and with the public officials to lobby for a stadium, try to get a great new partner like Flavio Da Silva, our own staffer, Brett Lashbrook, leaving and come down and helping the efforts. It really is very special. You know, these are the moments for all of us at work for MLS that kind of make it all worth it. Every day you're slugging away, you're dealing with all the things you got to deal with, and then every now and again you take a step back and you say, man, this is pretty cool. I think there isn't a market in America where we couldn't expand and be successful if we had the right ingredients. You need big time owners that believe in the game and have financial resources to support it, particularly build a stadium. You need a great stadium site, and you need thousands of those crazy purple people. And I don't care whether it's in Orlando, or whether it's in Austin, or whether it's in Minneapolis, or it's in Atlanta. Major League Soccer will succeed in any market that has that formula that we need to connect. So Orlando is coming in 10 years, 13 years after we left Florida. I'm convinced we can go back to Miami with those three pillars in place and we'll be successful in 2017 or 18 when we weren't in 2002.